believe me, our women, Ukrainian women, it's like five in one. It's perfect mothers, perfect wives, perfect cookers, perfect lovers, perfect housekeepers and perfect friends. She wants to go to a better place and live a better life. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that, of Nothing. course. Only time there's something wrong with that is if that's the primary reason and she doesn't love you. Exactly. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with Vita. You might recognize her. She's one of our lovely coaches here at Match Guarantee. And I haven't given her a heads up as to the question, uh, the topic for discussion today. Um, so it's gonna be completely improv. Vita, what do you think about the topic of money? And you know, Western men come here to date a Ukrainian woman and what about money? What about her needs, financial needs? Uh, and, you know, what should the guy do, not do? And what is appropriate for a Ukrainian lady to do and not do? Okay, it's, it's, a, very, it's a very difficult question, by mm -hmm. the way. One of the most difficult, because it can be very tricky and uh, you can never know for sure if she tried to scam you or if she really in need. So let's see, let's see the situation. You start dating with some lady you are interested in and she looks like interested in you too. And conversation is go smooth and everything's fine. But uh, with the time flies, maybe you can start feeling she wants something from you, I mean in financial way. So what if she asks you for some money? It can be different reasons, but now as uh, we are involved in this business and uh, we know many examples, scamming examples, we know typical situations when you can understand exactly if it's scamming or not. Like let's say the man wants to communicate with lady alive like Skype and she would say you oh I don't have my computer or I don't have internet in my house I need to provide this and it costs money or I don't have cam so I can't meet with you alive other typical situation she's just emailing with you through website and maybe you would like to talk to her personally like on her Viber or WhatsApp and she will tell you, like, I don't have good phone, just simple phone, not like smartphone. Okay, so that situation shows uh, and give you a signal that probably in most cases it's scamming. Because now it's 21st century and I can tell you openly in Ukraine, maybe only old people don't have smartphones. Every younger generation, every person and even every child would like to have smartphone and people do much for this. Even take some bank credits to buy a new phone. So if the lady will tell you she doesn't have such phone to communicate, to have this possibility to communicate with you on Varba, on Skype, uh, probably it's not true. As well as a computer and internet and cam, so that's the reason not to be too much involved in face-to-face -face communication. But uh, let's speak about other side of this situation. You know that one of the reasons why Ukrainian lady would like to go abroad and to find the foreign man it's bad economical situation in Ukraine. So in most cases also Ukrainian lady are hard working, they are trying to survive, to save their money for children maybe, for health care, for education, for good appropriate food for them, something like this. And of course like all of us human beings, and every person can get into trouble. It can be also true. Like you guys can be in some bad situation, women as well. And if your relations developed good, and it's not like first or second month of communication and everything looks like okay, so maybe she would like to try to check you as well. So sometimes you need to be clever enough to differentiate the situation when it's just scamming or maybe she is really in need and if yes and sometimes if you're too suspicious and maybe it's not a big money or something and she really need and you refuse it can also be a signal for her that you're greedy or you don't care much about her because She's thinking about you as a future husband, how you will take care about your, her, her child, if she has, and her 
condition of life and everything. So in this case, what I can recommend you as we are always in touch with you and you have some concerns and let's say you are our client already and you met your lady already and you communicating with her and you have some concerns and you're not sure if it's right or not if it's try of scamming or just real need you can always ask us you can always text us or call us or just email and describe your situation and we will try to figure out is it real or not you know uh, what is one of the main reason also why women look for foreign husband because women tired of laziness and non-responsibility of our men most of them don't care about their families about profit and about good finding a good job and better possibilities and opportunities to their family and of course women tired of all these and they are looking for something better and if she understand that she's just exchanging bed for bed no reason to do this at all she need to feel secure and she need to feel confident about you and you will take care in every possible situation as well as she will take care about you believe me our women ukrainian women it's like five in one it's perfect mothers perfect wives perfect cookers perfect lovers perfect housekeepers and perfect friends trust me if the woman ukrainian woman will love you for sure, it will be real love. She will be involved in all your troubles. She will take care about you when you are sick. She will cook for you. She will keep your house tidy. She will take care about your children. And she will ask you all every evening when you come back to, from your job, are you tired or not? What happened on your job? How was your meeting? Was it successful or not? If you got some troubles on office maybe, she will discuss it with you, she will give you a good advice. It's very typical about being Ukrainian woman. So you need to be ready about this and our women are many talkative and they would like to discuss everything. So in this case, you will understand if she's really love you or not. And uh, so as she ready to give you all her care, she will expect such care from you as well and what is the ma main main responsibility to take care about the family in financial way and some other stuff you know what men needs to do so needs to be very careful about these financial questions if you don't sure if you're not sure and if you hesitate or doubt please you can always ask us to help you in this way and don't make your decisions too fast. If the woman asks you about money, that it's immediately scamming. Not always, not always. But of course, needs to be very careful about this. Guys, now you see why Vita is our client care manager. Uh, she's very wise and she just covered one of the toughest topics in the whole, you know, process, business of love, of making happy couples, really. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, guys have to understand that the economy here sucks and Ukraine is bad. And one of the biggest reasons she's looking to marry a foreigner is because she wants to change her situation. She wants to go to a better place and live a better life. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that, of Nothing. course. Only time there's something wrong with that is if that's the primary reason and she doesn't love you exactly right yeah uh, so guys you need to know you're going to be tested if you can if you're a good provider if you're a strong man as they call it here you're going to be tested she's going to test you she might ask you to go to an expensive restaurant right as a test yeah not because she's a scammer it. no no, no 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 just to see if you're greedy or not and right. if you're ready for such steps good steps Right. And you know, Vita, I, I see clients, some of them are so hypersensitive to the money situation and the scam situation because they've been scammed for so long and so much that they're very you know, cautious about very cautious. every detail. Like yeah, too much. If, if she if she's upset, if he doesn't bring her chocolate, like, oh, she wanted money from me, not like these guys. Or she took me to expensive restaurant. You know, it was $100. What's with that? Well, she good chance she was testing you to see if 
uh, if you're a uh, you know, generous man, strong man, if you have financial means. So it's, it, it's, a, it's not an easy uh, determination when a Ukraine woman asks you something about money. Can you help with this? Can you help with that? With groceries, with this or that. You know what? Sometimes single moms here don't have, they open their fridge. Guys, this horrified me to understand this. They open their fridge, they have two children, and there's a jar of, you know. Exactly. They need to share. They cannot buy one kilogram of bananas. They need to share. They buy just two, one for one and one for one. If they, sometimes it's like a simple example, but uh, they need to choose to buy milk or socks, maybe. It's funny. It's funny. But it's true. It's true. It's reality here in Ukraine. Sometimes a woman cannot afford for herself because... All what she earns, she tried to give to children to provide the better education, better healthy food, and uh, sometimes it kind of surviving here. Mm -hmm. So if you don't understand this and if you're not realistic about these points, also can be a big trap. Because guys, the reason you need to understand this topic intimately is because you can fail miserably when she says, you know what, uh, uh, could you send me $50 because my fridge is empty? It can be the truth and she has two children. It's not like $1,000. Right, it's 50 bucks, guys. Oh, yeah. It could also be a scam. But Depends it can help much. But it can help much really to survive because for fifty dollars she can buy really good food and enough quantity like for a couple of weeks or it it will really help her much. Mm -hmm. And if it's just small amount for you in comparison with Ukraine, our salary and yours, so it will be a good signal for her that you care about her and her children and uh, also will make your chances more successful. But of course we are not speaking about like I need to have a trip because mm, or I. Or a computer. Or new computer. Uh, yeah, you can much. live. You can live without computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, Vita, it's really a double-edged sword here, because you know, on the one hand, um, if it's true and she's just asking you for fifty bucks to help out with for food and you don't, well, you just failed miserably because the man is the provider, and if you want to work your way into her heart and into her life. Well, taking care is huge here. It's one of the biggest um, love languages, you know, for the woman yeah. is that you take care exactly. uh, of the lady. So on the one hand, um, you could fail if you, if you don't send her the 50 bucks for that. On the other hand, you know, it can be a scam either for 50 bucks or uh, 200. It depends on the reason why she's asking. It depends on the question you got to ask yourself is, do you have a relationship? And I'm right. If she's really interested in, in you and you have to understand if you're a clever man, anyway, you will see if she's really in feeling with you or not. If she responds on all your messages, if she communicates with you on daily basis, if she cares, if she asks questions, if she's interested in your life, in your troubles, everyday troubles, so you can understand. And if one day, maybe it won't be like direct question, but maybe kind of hint or some shy question. So don't be also too much suspicious about such things. If it's not huge amount or she needs to buy a new furniture or something, it's not like first need. But still needs, needs to be careful and needs to be wise to differentiate the reason she asks about money. Exactly. I mean, if you have a relationship, if you've been to Ukraine and met with her, that's huge. Uh, otherwise, it's not a relationship, guys, right? Yeah, exactly. If you haven't been to if Ukraine, she see you as a future husband. it's only emails and you yeah. don't have her phone number and you don't vibe her in Skype, I'm sorry, guys, not a relationship. You're in fantasy land. Don't send any money if that's a situation, Yeah. right? But if you've been here, you've And if you her. have some plans to meet her again and mm -hmm. to make her your future wife, you you need to show her that she will be provided with all necessary stuff in her future because first of all Ukrainian women thinks about her children's future and she want she wants best for them and of course she when she look at you she think what kind of father you will be for those children and if you don't take care about children it won't work yeah, if you, if you don't show yourself as a man she can trust first for herself but more importantly for her children your relationship will never get off the ground. So guys, if you're starting a relationship, you've met her even here once or twice, but she's asking for a little bit of help, 
It's even a good idea. I would personally suggest you support, you start supporting financially at some point in the relationship, whether it be your first month, second month, third month. Yeah, right? something it like show, this. It doesn't and have to be it will show. It will show your responsibility and yeah. you will think about your mutual future, not just emailing and uh, when she will feel confident about you and maybe if she doesn't ask sometimes you can propose some small things for her mm -hmm. it will show your care and even maybe maybe if she's still not sure but if you do such steps she will think and she will change her mind and think okay listen these guys is taking care about me about my children about how i live if i have some needs to, how to satisfy them it will make her think more thoroughly about you personally and it can help you to become more successful to create a family with this specific lady. Great advice, Vita. Yeah. Great advice. And guys, we're not talking about a lot of money here. Even if you sent $100 a month to support, I, again, the KB tiers, after you feel you're already in a relationship, you've been seen her in person, yeah. you, you've been, you know, month, two, three, and she's waiting for you to come back. Very important. If you don't show some financial support, mm, it's very damaging for your relationship. It means you're not so much interested because we know that you know how bad life is here. And yeah. we know you're aware about economical situation and how it's difficult to find a really good job, well paid. So if you never ask if she's in need or if she needs something, maybe just for, for children or something, so she can have not a good idea about you. Okay, he's not interested too much. He doesn't care about me. He just wants to satisfy his pleasure, his own pleasure, his own, his specific needs. So he's not my no, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And guys, another huge point I will just uh, add on top of this is that you need to understand Ukrainian people think everybody from the West were rich <laughs> because we have this image in our yeah, mind. Yeah. Yeah. True, yeah. Right. Even, even, you know, not even maybe rich, but they in much better situation than Ukrainian people. We are not talking right. about millionaires or some no, huge the, money. The guy makes $60,000 a year, for example, very uh, average in America or, or the Western world. But Ukraine just, they, they just hear $60,000 a year. They don't know. It <laughs> takes you, uh, 70,000 a year to live. So you're actually out of pocket at the end. So there's this perception is my point. There's this perception is that you're rich and you won't even support with $100 a month, right? So it can be that on top of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. On top of the fact that everything that Vita did, just said, that it shows that you're not the caring, kind man. They look for a generous, kind man. So, yeah. so I hope that choose into this huge colossal topic for you guys and helps you understand um, a little bit better because we see it's the number one I would hazard to say relationship killer yeah when our clients come and they start a relationship but then it dies mm -hmm. it's 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 if, if it's not the number one it's 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 number two uh, so it's big so of course hope it helps you guys good luck bye bye bye